I never was very religious at any time in my life. Uh, I was required to go to church uh, when I was at school. There came a point where I was disillusioned and actually refused to go to church after that. But there is something about Jesus' teachings that articulates, describes the simplicity of living the truth and bringing heaven on earth. It's not a complex process. So I'd like to share some of the things in my own words that I came up with. The recognition and honoring of a relationship with the Creator. In other words, true identity. Who am I really? The invitation to love one another. And in that to create a culture of love. Not because it's a nice thing to do, and it is. It's very pleasant when you're in loving relationships with other people. But it's not for that. It's because that's the way things work. Or that's the way things work best. That's the way things were designed to work within a culture of love. And for sure, if you're living in an intentional community, you better get that one quick. Because if you're not living and participating and providing a culture of love, things can be hard in a community. Forgiveness. Again, not because someone told you to or not because that's what it says in the Bible, but because it releases the toxicity of resentment. It frees up a relationship so that it can come back again into a culture of love. That's not possible. And it certainly was something I learned very quickly. It's not possible to live in a culture of love in a community if you cannot forgive. You know, people do stuff. People say stuff. Service to others. I don't believe that you can live effectively and creatively in a community self-referentially, where it's all about you, it's all about me, and what I can get and what can serve me. It's about how I can be of service to others. Again, creating that culture of love. Resoluteness and diligence in what you know deepest in your heart. To never lose sight of that truth that it is deeply in your heart and to be diligent and to come back to that wherever we, you find yourself straying from or finding yourself in difficult situations, but to come back to that place. And then sharing what you know, sharing the wisdom that, that you accumulate in doing these other things, in being forgiving, in being diligent about what it is that you know for sure, in being clear in relationships and allowing a loving current to be there and to be participating in a culture of love. That brings wisdom. It brings something that's worthwhile to share. If you look out into your world, would you say that there could be quite a need for a bit of love out there, a bit of understanding, a bit of wisdom, true wisdom? I think so. 